What is up ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we're starting a playthrough in the heavily requested Darkness Falls mod, an overhaul created by Kane. It features a ton of new features and game mechanics to learn and discover. There are new vehicles, new weapons, new POIs, new NPCs, a new progression system, new crafting system, new zombies, new demons, new monsters, and a whole new storyline to complete. There's much more to discover, and I'll be glad to have you along for the journey. Before we set off, here's a look at the settings that we'll be starting on, but these are subject to change once I get comfortable. Darkness Falls introduces many new challenges, and since I'm new to it, I won't be playing a permadeath series. Episodes will span two days, and hordes will occur every ten days, and episodes will be released weekly. I encourage you to leave feedback in the comments to help me out along the way, and leave a like if you want to see the series continue. So without further ado, let's begin. All right, everyone, here we are. We are finally in Darkness Falls, and I've just spawned in and had a look left and right. We've got Trader Wrecked right there. There's also a town right here, so is that, is that a Trader? It looks like, is that Trader Bob's or Trader Jen's? I'm kind of getting closer to it, so it's spawning in. I think that's actually Trader Jen's right there, so Oh, look, okay, this is the Deshong Tower over there. So, big city over here to the west. And uh, looks like probably a smaller town over here to the east. So, I'm playing on the Darkness Falls medium map. And it appears that I've spawned uh, kind of by chance here between two traders. So, that's going to be nice. All right, let's get started here. So, here in Darkness Falls, we have the backpack. So, we open the backpack and we get some stuff. I'll drop down a bedroll. We are not playing permadeath, so I do want to have a bedroll down at all times, close by, in case I die. Uh, there are just lots of unknowns here, so I don't want to cut the series short uh, because I made a stupid mistake or I didn't fully understand the game. So put the backpack on and uh, reset the backpack so that looks like it's opened up a little bit. We have a whole lot more to go, and as far as I know, you just get additional backpack slots as you get better backpacks and stuff. And I have this blank class paper here. So I think we look at recipes and then I can choose my class. Now I've had a look through to see which one would be best. And I think hunger is an issue early on in Darkness Falls. So I'm just gonna go into farming. I've been wanting to, to do a, a farming run anyway. So what do I do here? Do I do just read? And then yes. Okay, so I'm now a farmer and I have a special farmer quest. It looks like I need to gather up some goldenrod flour, some yucca fruit, and then craft some seeds. And by the looks of it, there will be five more quests after that. And of course, it does want me to go do the White River Citizen quest to go meet Trader Jen. But we'll get to that in a little bit. I want to be able to sell her something. So for now, let's just uh, try to knock out some of these farmer quests. Oh boy, we got zombies already. Probably we need some weapons as well. That'll get us started. Hit me again. Ooh. This is getting a little bit awkward here. Here, let me help. So interestingly, yeah, you have these other survivors here, and they just look so ill-equipped. She look, she's wearing like latex pants. What the hell? That is not that's not what a survivor is supposed to look like. Craft up some sharp rocks here. Craft myself up a stone axe. Aha! What do we have here? It's like an orange tree. I think you just have to harvest it down like that and you leave the rest and perhaps it regrows. I don't really know. I'm also finding all kinds of like carrots and potatoes and just like random food all over the ground. Just give me all the food today. I need all the food I can get because I want to learn how to cook it. Oh geez, there's survivors running around all over the place, but unfortunately they're not coated very well. Kane, you might want to work on that. Who's this? Former gangster. Survivor, help me. Oh, who's that? That's like a cheerleader zombie back there. Teamwork. So here's a look at the fruit that I've gotten. You have a rotten food chance. I'm not sure if that's like food poisoning or if it kills you or exactly what that means. But uh, perhaps let me know, or if we get desperate enough, I'll probably eat it. But in order to loosen the backpack up, I'm just going to put some stuff down here on the hotbar. Oh, look at that! 
A pair of shades. Ooh, reload speed, 10%. Nice. I'll check this stump here. I finally did find all of the goldenrod and the yucca that I need. So we'll just have to now craft a couple of seeds of each and then we're on to the next quest. And I did get a honey out of that. From what I've heard, it's not a guaranteed chance of cure infection, but, um, you know, good to have, I guess, anyway. So in terms of seeds, uh, there's two different types of seeds you can make. One has the hammer icon and one doesn't. I don't know wh exactly what that means, but I needed two goldenrod and then I need two yucca. And that gave me some clothing. So we'll, we'll wear all of that. In fact, I've heard that the black dye is somehow important, so we're gonna have to save that. I think it's used for crafting or something. Our next quest will be to get some nitrate powder, some clay soil, and some rotting flesh, presumably in order to craft some farm plot blocks. So to get the rotten flesh, probably our best chance is to get on the road and start looking for gut piles. And um, in my testing, I've noticed that if you kill zombies, that sometimes they turn into a gut pile. And you can see my skill in blunt weapons just increased there. So that's like, you get like passive skill points. Ooh, nice. So the more you use something, the better you get at it. Ah, there we go, gut pile. Let's try pizza here. Ooh, got a boss loot bag off of him too. Ooh, scrap iron spear, yes please. And some dukes, good deal. Although I did not get a gut pile off of him. So apparently that's uh, not guaranteed. I can see a bunch up ahead here though. Okay, that should be enough to get a bone knife so we get a little bit more efficient harvesting. At least that's how it works in vanilla. <laughs> Things might have changed. So yeah, speaking of that, if there's anything that I'm doing wrong, or you have any tips or suggestions, or if you just want to see me do certain things in the series, like certain themes, like maybe a certain weapon you'd like to see me spec into, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm super flexible on this series, and I'm very, I'm like a Darkness Falls virgin. This is my very first time. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, look at that main loot bag, just sitting right up there. That's my favorite loot to gank. So I'm gonna do it. No, no, don't do that. Go back down, get back down. Ow! What I'm gonna do here, if I don't get a helmet flashlight right now in this main loot, what I'm gonna do is give one to myself because even though it's called Darkness Falls, no one likes the darkness, especially on YouTube. So I'm going to just give myself a helmet flashlight and I'll do the thing that Not A Gamer Gaming does and I'll just throw away the first one that I find. I think that's a fair trade. I don't want you guys to suffer because I can't find the things that I need. And what do we have here? We have a farming tip book. Can be read multiple times, must be read from the hot bar. I learned how to craft various seeds and animal coops, okay? And then there's uh, learn how to craft a claw hammer and a wrench by reading this book. And it says that both of them have to be read from the hot bar. Now I've heard that that's not a thing, but I'm not gonna take any chances, but let me know if I have to do that or not. Oh yeah, we got zombies coming up here now. We gotta hurry up. All right, what's in this Mo Power box? Oh my God, a robotic turret that's really, really awesome and a spotlight schematic, a dart trap schematic and a headlight. Give me that stuff. Grab whatever is in here and get the hell out of here. Ah, <laughs> yes, look, it's Bob's Boars. I'm gonna mark that on the map real quick because Bob's Boars is an excellent source of basically like leather, meat, animal fat, concrete. I don't think there's much cobblestone, but there's quite a bit of it. I think it's more focused on concrete. Plus there's grace and there's, ooh, animal piles. I can get some rotten flesh. All right, so I did find that scrap iron helmet and oh my God, that robotic turret is such a good find. Damn, I can't wait to use that. It's gonna use up a lot of iron though. So we definitely have to kind of like ration when we're gonna use that. Anyway, helmet light onto the scrap helmet that I just found. And like I said, the next one that I find, the next helmet light, I will just toss it on the ground and it will be like it never even happened. All right, so we're right outside Trader Jen's. Where's the sun? The sun, it looks like it's maybe midday, maybe getting towards the end of the day. 
I don't know, it's really difficult to tell. I don't have a watch, so I can't really tell the time, but I'm thinking there might be some resources in here that we would like to get, notably cloth, because in order to make padded armor, all I need is cloth and plant fiber, so I'd like to get a set of this going before the end of the day, and those tents, at least in vanilla, are made out of cloth, so we might be able to get enough out of just this one little place. But of course, we've got landmines in the trench, and I would presume soldier zombies, if not at least... Oh, there's one right there. I can see him. Got a good headshot on him. Maybe if, if this gets too dicey, I can kite him onto some landmines. Oh, wow. He's almost dead already. There we go. Oh, <laughs> donk. <laughs> I love that sound. Okay, I do hear more though. I just heard a, a little bit of a grumble. There we go. Gotta watch your step there. We got here. Oh, we got another one that was inside the tent. Oh, I feel like the bow is doing way more damage. Yeah, it definitely is. Even my power attacks are not really doing much. All right, we'll go with the bow. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Shit. There we go. Oh, our skill in blunt weapons has increased. Nice. Yep, give me all this cloth. What? Um, am I not getting cloth out of this? You've got to be kidding me. No. What if I use the hammer? I get some if I use the hammer? Why did I get one there, but I'm not getting any more? Is there like a chance of harvest? Uh, what if I use my bare hands? Mm, that's not really working either. Why? Why? What about this one? No, I'm gonna go back to the ham- Oh, that one gave me some. It's like some of them are giving me like four cloth, but some of them are giving me zero. Oh, I'm getting plenty now though. Oh my god, exploding crossbow bolts and flaming arrows? Wow! Let's see what you got, buddy. Show me what you got. Nice! Ow, that hurt. Come on, pizza. Give me that sweet blue loot bag that you got stuffed up your ass. Ah, you son of a bitch. Alright, that's about it for this place, I think. I think if we check the quest real quick, all we're looking for now- Oh, a little bit more nitrate. We need some more rotting flesh and some more soil. Okay. What we should probably do real quick though is just go meet Trader Jen and uh, t like just sell her some of the stuff that I'm carrying to, to lighten the Oh my god, a cow. I bet uh, if boars fight back, I would assume that cows fight back as well. And they probably have a lot of hit points. So yeah, I don't really want to disturb him. All right, Trader Jen, what is up? Actually, we got to check the compound. Oh, uh, there are some guts in here as well. So no trader protections here in Darkness Falls. So you're free to kind of destroy anything. But then again, so are the zombies. So don't feel like uh, this is some kind of a safe haven. How the hell did you get in here? Let's try out this spear that I found. Ooh, nice. Check on this chem station here, some scrap polymer. I'm gonna put a few things in here that I don't need to quite be carrying around with me all the time. Then a lot of the rest of this stuff I can just sell and then, oh my God, we're so much lighter on our feet now, hey, nice. Jenny. But you can call me Dr. Jenny. Jen. Okay, Dr. Jen, well, give me a job first. We'll probably do the job tomorrow. I'm not too inclined on like uh, doing a POI right now here before dark. I'll take the one that's closest here, this little fetch quest at the house old ranch. Okay. Nice. I do want to check the time here. It is 1813, so we have a little bit of time left. And that quest is taking me right over here to this blue house. Uh, maybe, maybe I do want to do that right now. Because that would give us a little bit of a place to kind of live for the night. I mean, we could live in the trader compound, but honestly, if zombies are going to come and attack at night, I don't want them to mess up the trader compound. I'd rather have some separation there. I do need some clay soil and I also need some plant fiber. So I'm just gonna rip up some of this topsoil and get some of that and we'll just kind of fight zombies and then we'll trigger the quest and do that real quick.
Oh, look at that, a grenade schematic in that mailbox. This must be where the Unabomber lived. So the problem I have now is that I need iron to repair my scrap shovel, and I need the scrap shovel to dig. Should be able to get a little bit of iron out of this. Oh my god, I'm getting gas out of this too? With my, just my harvest tool? Not my harvest tool, my, my axe. Typically you need a harvest tool, like a wrench, to get that kind of stuff. Damn, get wrecked, Steve. Oh yeah, look at that, I'm getting like, um... Electrical parts, mechanical parts. Wow, that is interesting. I should be able to repair that shovel now. Uh, shit, wolf incoming. I do not like the looks of that. Luckily he's going after a zombie, but now he's coming this way. Yeah, let's activate the quest and just uh, head inside, I guess. Oh, the door's locked. Ah, let me in. Okay, oh crap. I just woke up zombies in here. Cole, what the hell are you doing here? There we go. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes if they die or not because you don't see the XP in the corner. Wow, double barrel shotgun schematic, AK-47 schematic, nice. Although I, I believe the way it works in Darkness Falls is that you need to be of a certain level before you can actually craft those things. So there is like a, an experience cap. Ooh, red tea, I will drink that immediately. Lots of locked doors here. I, I think I'm gonna just clear the area out and we'll kind of loot it up afterward. I don't think we're going, oh my God, cowboy. The hell is he doing over there? What, what, are you okay? What happened? I don't know what happened, but he's dead. Ooh, what do we got here? Cannabis seed? Oh, I think I'll take that. What's this? What? Oh, it's gross! Get it away from me! Now, seemingly every door I come across is locked. Oh, jar of peanut butter? Oh, that doesn't give me any food poisoning chance. So I think I'll eat that right now. Oh, oh, oh boy, wow. I'll get the spear out for this one. Get, keep him uh, at like a, a longer distance away. Whoop, I just let them both in, crap. Okay. Ah, it's not working. They're crowding me out. Get back. Ow. Ah, I'm in the turd room. Ah, oh my god. Hey, I gotta level up. I forgot, I didn't even realize I had leveled up before, so... Uh, oh no, I'm only level 2 now, but I should have a couple of skill points to spend. Uh, basically, uh, just want sexy T-Rex, and I think I might also want a point into minor 69er. Can I do that yet? Yes. And I have one more. I could do Pummel Pete, and that will help me with the clubs. I don't really know if I want to go into clubs or like spears, because I think spears are better in Darkness Falls than they are in vanilla. But you know what? I'm just going to stick with things that I'm comfortable with in this series, and I'm going to go with Pummel Pete. Ooh, some good clothing. We'll have to look at that later. It looks like we're here for a boss fight. Ooh, former gangster. Whoa! Oh! Oh shit! I'm- I'm st- oh, here it is! I'm trying to get out of here! Oh, damn! Okay, we're in kind of rough shape. I think we're good. I'm just gonna close the door behind me in case I left the front door open. I don't quite remember. Get back! Damn, she hits hard, too. I do have some bandages. I'm going to- only- only 15 health out of that, though. Uh, let's take- take the painkiller. That'll give you some hit points back. And we'll take a, a first aid bandage as well. Really, I need to get some armor, but I left... No, I have the plant fiber on me. Oh, it's nightfall. Great. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on some padded leg armor, some padded chest armor, and some padded boots. Oh yeah, here's another zombie here. Hazmat zombie. In the knee! In the knee! I could do this all night! I would have preferred you actually stay up there. Gotcha! Alright, was that the whole boss fight, or are there more kind of lurking around over here somewhere? Oh no, we have to go out to the roof. Hopefully there's no birds. Oh my god, there's a glowing rad zombie out there. 
So the rads are certainly not as tough as they are in vanilla, but they're still a threat. At least they're easily identifiable. So I can make up a few sharp rocks, craft up a few sticks, then make a handful of stone arrows. We're about to need them. Man, I am hungry. I am thirsty as well. We're gonna have to probably risk it tonight and eat some of this soup and stuff. Okay, there's usually a couple of zombies in here. There they are. All right, we're all clear. We're free to loot up. Oh, robotic turret. My goodness. Is this like not as good as I think it is now or what? So SMG auto turret schematic. We know that's good. And uh, some padded leg armor. Great, I just made my own, thanks. And some iron arrows. I'll throw on the better set, I guess, even though it doesn't really make any difference statistically. All right, so let's recap the day a little bit. So we're kitted up with a little bit of armor. We've got some scrap iron, some padded stuff. We've got a couple of robotic turrets that are really nice. We'll have to see if those are gonna be useful to us or not. Probably just sell one of them at least. We have quite a bit of food, but I left most of it over at Jen's and we are hungry and thirsty. So I might swing by over there and get some of that stuff together. Maybe get a fire going and cook some food. But for the most part, I'm just going to kind of chill for the night and we'll pick things up in the morning. All right, it looks like it's almost morning. It's hard to tell for sure. I've kind of just poked around through the building. I picked up the supply chest or the supply satchel, I should say. I've discovered that, um, of course, the rads, they regenerate their health over time. And uh, I can't kill him. <laughs> I can't kill him with the bow. He just keeps regenerating. So I'm hoping that he'll die when it's morning because I think he's a nighttime zombie. But yeah, you can see how his health is 122. But even when I hit him, he just starts regening so fast that uh, it would be really hard for me to get the kill. I will try and kill that cow, though. There we go. Oh, I almost killed the cow. Nice. All right, well, we'll harvest him up here in just a minute, I hope. And there it is. It is now morning. And they didn't die. <laughs> I, I guess they're not nighttime zombies. Ooh, there's a loot bag over there, though. That might be a nighttime zombie that just died and gave me a loot bag. Well, oh, man, I don't know. Is that rad like a running zombie? Or like, am I good to jump down here and fight him head to head? I really don't want to. My stamina is really messed up right now because I'm so hungry and thirsty, but uh, I, I guess we've got to try here. Let me just do a little trick here. We'll put a frame in the door and see if I can take him out the easy way. Yeah, we're taking him out. We're gonna do it. Uh, I'm, I'm so out of stamina. Th the rad, he's regenerating. No, kill him. There we go. Just gonna use the bow. Oh. Crap. Okay, I think we're good. Someone's coming. Quickly, get this loot bag. A cowboy hat. Give me this body. And I'm leaving. Oh, I want that one too. I need the nitrate. No, no, damn, skater punk. All right, well, first things first this morning, I do want to go get some food. So let's swing by Trader Jen's. All my food is stashed over here and she should have a campfire. And if not, I'll just put one down. And, uh, oh, I don't have a cooking pot, do I? That's probably going to be problematic, but perhaps I'll have to char up some meat or something. We got to figure something out here. Hello, here's your pay for a job. Oh, welcome. right. Wow. Oh, a hunting rifle. Ah, uh, that could be like game changing, right? Yeah, we can't pass that up. We, we've got to have a firearm. Let's get another job. I will take this fetch quest to work. the southwest. I Fast food, delicious. okay. So we can maybe get some food while oh, we're goodness. over there. And I'll check our inventory and see what she has. Ooh, wooden bow. Oh, that's like relatively cheap too. No, I do not see a cooking pot, but quite honestly that um, the fast food joint that we're about to go to might have one. I'm gonna sell some stuff though. I did find these scrap iron knuckles. Let's compare that against the club. The club is doing better. However, like the attacks per minute might just make it a better weapon. So I might just keep those scrap knuckles and use those for a little while. See how I like them. I hope you think come that'll back do. And see me sometime. All right, let's sort out this food situation. What can I get here? I oh, I can bake some apples up. Nice, and I can bake some potatoes as well. And uh, I don't think I'll need charred meat at that point, but I will need something to drink. 
Let's have a look at the map here. I don't see any water. Oh, there's some way down there by Bob's Boars. And the quest is kind of taking me in that direction anyway. So, all right, so here's what we'll do. We'll grab the food, we'll walk over. Oh, that's only three food. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jen's vending machine has a yucca smoothie. Uh, yes, drink that now. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a vitamin because I have two of them. And I, I honestly, I think that means I can eat the old sham sandwich. And I, at this point, I could probably eat things like tomatoes and like cans of cat food and stuff. I'm just gonna do that. Ah, crap. I poisoned myself. Does that mean I'm gonna die? What happened? Oh, what the hell? My hunger went down to zero? What? Oh, so I guess that's what happens. You, um, you get food poisoning and you lose all of your food. Apparently, probably because you got diarrhea or something and just shat it all out. Hey everyone, it's me during editing. What I didn't notice here is that when your hunger reaches zero, you start losing health really, really fast. And that's gonna come into play real soon. Well, good thing I didn't eat these potatoes yet. That'll get us back in the, in the, I don't know, the orange, I guess. Wow, that's terrible. Okay, well that just uh, makes gathering um, the stuff for farming and cooking that much more important. All right, I'm gonna run over and get some water and then I'll meet you at that quest. All right, here we are. I finally made it. We are at the fast food joint and hopefully there's a cooking pot here that'll really help us out in getting some food crafted tonight. I did find a workbench schematic in one of the mailboxes nearby. So let's hit this quest. Oh, another painkiller, nice. Whoa, bird! Aha! Oh, nice, thank you. Oh, a good fire axe there. I think that could just replace the stone axe and uh, a slightly better shovel will scrap the old one. All right, I'm just gonna leave these zombies to it. They're not part of the quest. I'm really only here to do the quest and get the hell out of here. Oh, hello. Give me some other type of arrow. Oh, I left my arrows back at Jen's. What the hell? Oh my God, did I, what did I do? Did I starve to death? Well. Geez, spawn on my bed, I guess. Uh, wow, that food poisoning really, really messed me up. Oh my god, I didn't realize that I just died when I, uh, when my health or when my food got down. I think that's what happened, isn't it? Uh, well, note to self, we need to stay well fed from now on. I'm gonna have to kind of review that in editing because I really, I'm not 100% confident that I know what happened there. But <laughs> yep, that is why we are not playing permadeath. Yeah, I had just heard that there are a few more ways to die than you would typically be used to in this mod. So anyway, that's okay. Live and learn. We now have a almost fully reset food and health meter. Our, you know, our health and, and hydration, everything's all topped off. We did fail the quest. I will simply work my way back. I'm going the completely wrong direction. We need to go to the loot bag which is way over there. All right, we made it back. Grab all of my stuff. I will read the workbench schematic. You know, pretty unfortunate that we died there here on day two, but really not the end of the world. I'll figure this out eventually. All right, we're really just gonna clear this out now looking for a cooking pot. All right, we're in. Where's the kitchen? Ah, here it is. Any cooking pots in here? Oh, it's a vampire. Shit. <laughs> And it's a really weird looking zombie. Wow. It says zombie businesswoman. I disagree. Ow. Thank you. Ooh, a research note. Uh, total gibberish to me, but it might be turned into something useful. Get out of here. Ah, it says it's, he's a failed prepper. Ow. Or like a failed zombie. Oh, some goldenrod tea, that's good. Okay, there was my courier satchel here. It's obviously not gonna have anything in it now, but uh, no, I don't see a cooking pot here. That's really unfortunate. You would think that that would be something you would find at a restaurant. 
Ah, cooking pot. Nice. And a corn seed recipe. We'll read that and take the cooking pot. Mission accomplished. I don't even really care about the main loot at this point, but I'm not going to pass it up. Whoa, pump shotgun schematic. Nice. All right, what's in the main loot here? Ooh, some machetes. That'll probably replace my bone knife. Scrap that one, take that. Are you guys breaking in here or what? Sham box. Wow, bag of tra all kinds of good food. Okay, no time to waste though. We need to get the hell out of here. Freaking zombies are everywhere. All right, here we are back at Trader Jen's. And I think at this point, just g give me everything. Give me all of my stuff together. And we should have just completed that quest because I did dig up some more soil and I had some more nitrate powder. So now what we have to do is craft farm plot blocks and then plant our seeds. Oh my god, guys. Okay, so because I had my near-death experience debuff, for some reason that I've been sitting here for like, <laughs> like literally 10 real-time minutes trying to figure out what the hell is going on, but it wasn't allowing me to craft the farm plot blocks. It said it was locked, and if I went into my skills and stuff, like all of my skills were red, like z it said zero. My farmer was zero and my living off the land was zero, but uh, then I just waited for a minute because I was like, well, maybe it's a debuff. Uh, so yes, now it's, it seems to be good and in just in time too, because I'm hungry. But what did I need? I need four of these. So while we're waiting for that to craft, I guess I will put some uh, stuff onto the fire for cooking. I have a whole bunch of baked potatoes. I don't know if I need 16, but maybe like five for now. Oh, nice, and I can make the bacon and eggs. Sweet. All right, time to munch on some potatoes that will not give me food poisoning and kill me while I'm doing a quest. I mean, I kind of like the fact that you can get sick from eating, like, contaminated food, but seriously, like, instantaneous death without... And I, I had a vitamin. I ate a vitamin before that. Well, anyway. All right, surely Trader Jen won't mind if I just set up a little garden here right in her house. Yucca seeds, goldenrod seeds. Quest complete. Okay, now it says I have to gather some apples, some chrysanthemum seeds, and some apple seeds. Well, I can do the chrysanthemum seeds right now. And I'll qu I put the uh, knuckles down instead of the club. We'll use these for a little bit. And let's go see if we can find some apples. All right, I'm finally back. It took me forever to find those damn apple trees. Should have a couple apples right there, and then I can make apple seeds. Only need two of those. That is it, and now we are on to crafting an animal snare and coop. Okay, we need to make some animal feed. We need four of it. Okay, so we'll craft that. Well, this seems to be a viable weapon. Got a little, gotta get a little up close and personal, but that's okay. Okay, now we can do an animal snare. We need one. We also need a chicken coop, and for that we're gonna need eggs, which I do believe I just cooked them all. Speaking of that, let's uh, let's eat a couple, and we'll go find two eggs. One, two. Chicken coop. Hey, you, get the hell out of here. There's only room for one doctor here, and it's not you. Ah, uh, just in time too, it is nightfall. I always get scared because oh, I guess feral sense is not on <laughs> so and we're not in the city So we should be fine anyway So now I got to place these down somewhere and I don't think the game is gonna perform any kind of check that you know I've put it inside of a compound so I might as well just drop it down right there and Drop the snare down right there and uh, from what I've seen so in order to learn Darkness Falls, I've been watching Kane on his channel. He's the creator of Darkness Falls. And I'm going to link his channel down in the description below. And I've been watching another channel called Snowbee. And Snowbee makes really good Darkness Falls specific content. And from what I've seen on their channels, uh, these just kind of passively gather stuff for you. Like feathers, eggs, and then these get like leather and meat and stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll give it a couple days and we'll check back in on it. But the game wants me to craft a mortar and pestle now. And that requires just a little bit of soil, which I have a little bit already. And can I just dig some of this up here? Yep, that'll do. Craft that up for two minutes. I have found some uh, just miscellaneous schematics and mailboxes. So workbench schematic. Didn't? Did I find that already? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't 
know quite how to check because when you go here, it just says that you need the perk. I go to see the perk. If it, yeah, so if I go here, workbench tools. So, so unlocks the, the wrench and the claw hammer. So maybe, maybe I got workbench tools before and not the workbench. So I still can't craft the workbench. Yeah, I don't know quite how this works. Oh, so now I can do both of the workbenches, but I have to take points into tool crafting in order to get those. So I could craft a workbench and a saw table if I took one point into tool crafting. I think Jen has a workbench in here. Oh, it's a working workbench too. I wonder if that's a thing like every trader has a working workbench. There's also this white river guard or captain, I think, and she's up How here. How serve you? So we'll check her out. She gives jobs that are kind of like the um, the the old like mini quests, like the paper th notes that you would find. So like uh, cable guys never me? made it. Kill some zombie utility workers. I could probably manage that. And then in, uh, as far as I know, she sells like medical supplies. So that's good to know. And it's relatively inexpensive too. All right, my mortar and pestle is done. So I will bring that down and just place it down uh, anywhere really. So what do I do with this? I I don't know. Oh, I can make um, seeds and stuff. Maybe it's more efficient to do to craft seeds. Yeah, if I'm just looking here, if, if it has the hammer, I think that means that you make it in a mortar and pestle. But if you do it in your inventory, it takes double the amount of food item. So definitely a good idea to craft my seeds in here from now on. We've got a bow schematic and we've, oh, the farmer class reward. What is that? Oh, it's a pipe shotgun. And I'll bring that down immediately. And some shotgun ammo. Oh, and I also brought my bedroll with me so I can place that down in here. This, I guess this will just be the base from now on. Um, not, not ideal, it's kind of a big place to defend, but it's bright, it's well lit. I can check the time over here. And I've got Trader Jen to keep me company and uh, the White River Guard as well. Gonna have to give her a name, by the way. So what we do on guns, whoa, you're fast. Oh shit, forgot, getting a little cocky here. Yeah, anyway, what I was saying is what we do here on Guns, Nerds, and Steel once in a while is we go to Patreon, to the naming rights tier, and we select a name at random to apply to in-game items. And so next episode, I will be going to Patreon to give the White River Captain, or whatever her name is upstairs, to give her a name. And then throughout the series, we'll be naming other characters as well. And I have brought a world of hurt onto myself here, it looks like. Come on in here, Bo. One at a time, please. Eat that. So here's what I'm gonna do for tonight. I'm just gonna go through the inventory, get things sorted and organized a little bit. And we'll probably start doing some more quests for whoever this woman up here is and for Trader Jen later on in the morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day, but I'll be back again soon for another episode of Darkness Falls and I hope that you'll join me again. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching right back out there and good night. While you're waiting for the next episode, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly livestream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who have made this channel what it is today. My name is Tamriki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I'll see you in the next one.